Hello everyone. It's Friday night, just gone 7.30 p.m. which is time for us to get crafty and play with some new things. I hope you can hear me. Can everyone hear me okay? I um, was just having a few little technical issues as I was signing in and I feel like I forgot to do something. But if it's working then that's good. <laughs> oh good, it's been shipped all right already Margaret. That's fantastic. We love that on a on new catalogue day. Sometimes they're very, very busy on day one and things can take a while to ship, but I, I think either they weren't as busy as usual or um, or possibly they just had extra hands on deck or who knows. But that's awesome news. Hello, Lynn. How are you? Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Janine. I think we've got a nice little crowd of people here already. Very fast, I know, right? We just hope Australia Post does their end fast now. <laughs> hey, Katrina. Katrina, I think I forgot to thank you for your beautiful Christmas card. Thank you so much. That was lovely. And Glenda, hi. How are you? Hello, Gail. All right, everyone's popping in, so it's lovely to have some friendly faces here tonight or friendly, friendly words here because I can't see your faces. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to the desk and I am going to start pretty quickly tonight. It was lovely. Thank you. A lovely surprise. <laughs> okay, here we go. Guess what? The 4th of January has now been and gone, which means the day one of our new mini catalogue was Thursday. And I'm telling you that because up until Thursday, I wasn't allowed to show you the inside of the catalogue. And now I can. Now, last night, um, being Thursday, uh, today, Thursday, today's, um, today's Friday the 5th, so yesterday was the first day of the new mini, and last night on my um, team group, Facebook group, um, myself and Ellen and Denise and Courtney did a walkthrough of the new catalogue. We did the full mini catalogue and kind of talked a little bit about celebration as well because those are the two catalogues that started yesterday. Hey, Leslie, nice to see you. Um, someone last night, your name came, oh, I know why your name came up, Leslie. Last night we were talking about um, all those packs of uh, silver and gold self-adhesive paper that you purchased. <laughs> and everyone was saying, you know, everyone was having a little laugh about that. So there we go. So you're the culprit. <laughs> Joan, hello. How is Queensland today? Is it good? Is it hot up there? Because it's quite cool here. I think it only got to like 24, 25 degrees today. It was beautiful. Good weather. All right. Um, so we did a bit of a walkthrough of this catalogue last night. Um, it went for a couple of hours as they because it's very thorough. The four of us talk about what we bought, what we didn't buy, what we what we really love, um, and lots of ideas. We showed samples and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to go to that extent with you guys tonight, but I am going to show you a few of my favourites. Um, so not a proper catalogue walkthrough, but um, no, you you are not ever going to live it down. That's correct. <laughs> but I think it's I think it's a good fun story. So I'm really glad that you did tell us. Don't feel embarrassed about it. <laughs> All right, so some of you may have seen yesterday. <laughs> okay, you want to hear a funny story, guys? Yesterday I made this card, and you might see it's a little bit similar. It uses the same uh, bundle as what's on the cover of the mini, okay, but it's different. I've used the dies to create my ice cream. Last night when we were having a little look at, at this um, in our catalogue walkthrough and I was showing my card, I don't know if anyone noticed, I posted this card yesterday morning all over my social media, on Instagram, on Facebook. I put it everywhere, okay. Um, and Ellen last night in our catalogue walkthrough was saying, um, Linda, do you have the ice cream sideways? And sure enough, I had put, instead of the point being at the top, I had turned it on its side and the point was coming out over here. It looked ridiculous and I didn't even notice when I put, you know what, I decided not to, not to take it off social media it could just stay like that and it'll just be our little our little joke our little secret goodness me so i had a sideways ice cream but as someone said maybe it melted okay so hey cindy how are you <laughs> nice to see you so um that was the card and i don't know if you can see it can you see i wink a salad can you see the glitter on the on the ice cream i wink a salad my my pink my darker pink ice cream and i thought that looks really really cute there you go there's a bit of bit of glitter there hello Shelly how are you going nice to see you all right so I am going to go through very very quickly if anyone has any questions about anything 
Oh, it's hot and drippy. Not, not ice cream weather then, is it? <laughs> Hello, Moira. Nice to see you. All right. So um, there's, there is always beautiful samples. I would, what a cool job must it be to work at head office and be on the team, the concept art team who uh, come up with all the samples for the catalogs. I would love that job. I think that's, that's super, super cool. So let me just tell you about a few things. Tonight I thought we might actually create with some celebration stuff. <laughs> not at all. No, not good ice cream weather. That's right. Um, good ice cream weather to eat ice cream, but not good for the ice creams themselves. So I may play with a couple of things that we look at tonight, okay? So I thought maybe get into some... Uh, into some celebration stuff, which would be awesome. So does everyone know what celebration is? Is there anyone here who does not understand how celebration works? Because if you don't, um, I'm going to talk about it very, very basically, but if you need a better explanation, then I can, I'm can. i very happy to go further in depth. Basically, every $90 order that you place during the month of January right up to the end of February counts as a celebration-sized order and means that you can pick a free item for every $90 from this little celebration catalogue. So um, most of the items in here are here it says, can you see it says free with a $90 order for Australia. If you're in New Zealand, I'm so sorry, it's $110, but, um, but Australia gets uh, the $90 one, okay? And if it says free with a $90 order, you can pick one of those items for every $90. But up the back here, up towards the back, we have a couple of larger orders. So these ones are free with a $180 order, which means two $90 orders together on one order because it's got to be on one order and you would be entitled to this freebie, which is a bundle, stamps, and an embossing folder. So these items that are free with a $180 order, these are actually... Um, higher value items okay so this is the detailed dogwood stamp set which is a little bit more detailed again you've got your um, you've got there's a little dragonfly in here with like I don't know if you can see him little dragonfly with like text on his can you see him with text on his wings very cute and then the actual dogwood flowers and some nice texture stamps that one is free with a $180 order I don't have this one yet it's very nice though and the other one that's free with a $180 order are the dies called Jungle Pals. I do have these. I'm not going to use them tonight. But, um, oh, good. Good. Glad to hear the TV is working. Hello. <laughs> hey, Donna. Hi. Nice to see you. All right. So these embossed, uh, sorry, these dies, okay, match this stamp set. Okay. So the stamp set is called Jungle Pals. And you can see there's, um, a lemur and a toucan and a crocodile and a sloth and a tiger. Okay, very cute. Um, could be good for kids' cards particularly, although I guess they can be good for anybody who likes animals. I have a, a customer and she absolutely adores sloths and I know she'll be getting this set because it's got a sloth in it and she just loves sloths. She has pyjamas with sloths on them. She has um, clothes with sloths on them. She buys sloths in, in various um in various ways however they might appear so i know she's really going to want this one this jungle pals dies matches this set okay so this one is free with a 90 dollars order but this one is free with a 180 dollars order so if you wanted both you would need a 270 dollars order or two separate orders that one's 180 and one's 90 does that make sense I know there's embellishments in there and there's ribbon too. The ribbon is this ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful. This gorgeous um, crinkle ribbon. It's pool party crinkle ribbon and I love it. It's one of my favorite things in here. I really, really like it. So let's have a quick look. Actually, I'll come back to the celebration. I'm going to go through here first and just point out a few of my favorites. Um, I do have the whole Be Mine suite. We actually got this early as part of our um, Stampin' Up! on stage event last November. And this was one of the items that you could get for being part of that. So um, I love this. I particularly love the embellishments. I love the stamp set and the punch is amazing. So it's awesome. And I've been creating lots and lots of fun things with these. You guys saw what I did for Craft Along where I made these this little trifold card, which is super cute. And I've used the bee 
on that and I thought he looked really really sweet in some of the the DSP and the punch also punches out the wings and with the wings are actually a heart okay so you can use it as a heart or you could use it as wings and these little hearts as well all come from the punch so super super cute love this set I like this set but I don't have it because for anyone who's wondering here in Australia we do not have these kind of mailboxes and so I didn't get it because even though I really like it. I love the concept of having a flag to say when there's something in the mailbox. We don't do that in Australia. You just have to go check. <laughs> um, but we also don't, people, you can't put, we don't have, oh, let me start, start this again. We don't get our mail collected from our mailbox either. Okay, that's very much, I think, a US thing. I don't, do they do it in Europe too? I don't know. But, um, but um, this is um, something in Australia, it's for incoming deliveries only. You don't leave stuff in the mailbox for the mailman to pick up, but in the US you do. And when there's something in the mailbox, you pop the little flag up. I love the idea, but um, yeah, that's that's not something we have here. I've got this one. I'll definitely be playing with this. I've ordered this, guys. This is this is a surprise one. Last night when we were doing our catalog walkthrough with the team, um, the girls were talking about this set, and unfortunately that meant that I had to order it today. So um, so yeah. I have some of this. I have the, the ribbon. I have the cards and envelopes. And I think I've shown those to you before. That was also one of the cards that we did in the trifold card class. So, um, yep, that's that's what these are. But we'll use them another time. Like I said, I can't show you everything. I did a video on the hybrid embossing folders and the Brea the other day. So if anyone wants to check that out, that was last Tuesday's Technique Tuesday. Hey, Suzanne, nice to see you. <laughs> You ordered everything you wanted. Ah, lots of free products and loads of celebration items. Yep, fantastic. So I'm going to keep going. I have this. I will use it at some point with you guys because um, I really like it. It's very much a me set and it's the sort of set I like to work with. I have all of the perennial lavender. We have. I've already done a video on this, but we will definitely be using them again. Super nice. And let's go through and just pick out. I've just ordered these dies. Love these dies. I don't know if you can see them. They've got like lots of shapes, which I really like, but you can't really see. They've also got like little dots. Um, so you can see one of them in use here. Can you see the little dots around the outside? And they're bigger than, they're not like stitching. They're like holes and they're really, really nice. So I'm looking forward to using those. Hello, Donna. How are you? Good morning. What time is it there? Hello, Ma Margaret. They do not put it up if they drop the mail. Ah, okay. So it's only for them to pick up from you guys. But see, our mailmen, our mailmen don't do that. They only pick. They only drop off mail. They don't. They don't pick it up. So there you go. It would be very handy, I think, if they did. Oh, here's some more of those dies in use. Can you see the the little dots, the little um, cut out circles? around i really like those so i have ordered them but i haven't got them yet don't have this one yet so many things just too many beautiful things i've ordered this one don't have it yet it's coming you saw me use this one oh i did a video on these the enduring beauty masks love them these are fantastic and they are fantastic for um creating lots of really cool effects with your um blending brushes and the masks so it's 2.46 p.m. in Illinois. Okay. I know this now. All right. Let me go through. Did you mean 2.46 a.m. rather than p.m.? What time is it? It's 7.46 here, so I would have thought it would be later than that where you are. All right. Nature's Sweetness. I have all of this, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love it. Yes, definitely we sleep better. I read somewhere the other day, or actually I think I heard it on a podcast, that um, your body needs to um, decrease the temperature by one degree in order for you to be able to sleep. And that's why we have so much trouble sleeping on a hot night. So your body actually needs to be at a cooler temperature in order to be able to sleep. I don't think it's um, surprising to anyone. Yes, I thought you meant AM. <laughs> I thought so. I'm thinking, no, I'm sure it's later than that. All right, so these I will come back to. We'll play with those another time. I have ordered these. 
I love these memories and more cards. I love what they've done with these pages here in the middle. I think this is just stunning. So I can't wait to have a bit of a play. I've ordered this phone set. Um, we were talking last night about rotary phones um, and whether it, some people were saying they still had a rotary phone. And as I said, <laughs> that, um, yeah, you do need to stop watching if you're worried about working out your order, Shelley. I'm sorry. <laughs> last night on our team group, the girls were talking about the phones and I was just saying I could beat everybody when it comes to phone history. Um, and it's really funny because my my um, career, before I was a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I was actually training people to use phone systems. I All kinds of phone systems and I've been a receptionist on switchboards and all that kind of stuff. But our very first, um, our first phone when we lived on the farm when we first moved there in 1975 um our phone was one didn't ha it was it didn't have a dial it just had a handle okay and you you ran you rang the handle really really fast okay and that would contact the exchange they would answer and you would tell them who you wanted them to connect you to so it was it was the way to actually and there was i think four different families or sorry four different phone numbers on our party it was a party line and um, we were like a Morse code system. So if it, was, if it rang and it was a long and two shorts, the phone call was for us. If it was three shorts, it was the airstrip across the road. Um, there was an R and there was a K. So R, K, D and S were the four on, on our party line. And it, yes, it was very interesting. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and that's the only Morse code I really know is, is those numbers. So we have all got this one. This was given to us for free for attending on stage back in November. Um, I love these mini alphabet dies. I've been playing with those and I'll have to show you those. I use them for a scrapbooking class um, at the end of the year and I just love them. These are fun, but I don't have them. They're just kid in the set. I am going to get these, um, these champagne, no, iridescent foil gems they're called. I'm going to get those. They're really nice keep going this brightest skies bundle matches one of the celebration papers ah okay these are both punch bundles you've got the yellow sub well it's not called yellow submarine it's called sub submarine life bundle but i keep calling it the yellow submarine bundle um because i think if i had it i don't have it if i had it i would want to make yellow submarines for obvious reasons but i do have the cows and i think some of you saw us we did a cow set a couple of weeks ago where's my cow card there it is and this was the card. This is the card that we made, and um, I love what they've done. They've used some of those um, dies that I was talking about again with the cutout circles. Can you see it? Super, super cute, and I love the the black and white check ribbon with that as well. Love this stamp set. I just think it's so so cute. Ah, there you go. There you go, Suzanne. So you had that as well, or were you working on the switch? And the funny thing was the ladies on the switchboard knew everybody and knew everything. Um, and it was um, where the switchboard was, was on the corner, like of the little tiny town that we used to drive through. And they would see everybody going past. So sometimes I would, um, if I, after I left home, I would ring to speak to my parents and I'd get the operator and I'd ask them to put them through, put me through to mum and dad. And um, and the operator would say, oh, no, honey, they're not home. I saw them driving to town, you know, 30 minutes ago or whatever. So it was very, everybody knew everybody's business, let me tell you. It was pretty funny, actually. Ah, you were working there. Right. There you go. Oh, very much so. Yeah, I, I kind of built my, my career on using switchboards and I was a receptionist for many, many years and then um, ended up moving into installing phone systems and training people and call centres and all that kind of stuff. So rock and roll, don't have it yet, but I, I love this microphone. I think this would be good for Ben because, as you guys know, he does sound, sound production. Um, the... Trusty Tools Bundle has a matching celebration set, and I love these. I don't have them yet, but you just can't have everything, right, as hard as it is. It is. I don't have any of these. Denise showed us this one last night. She's made some beautiful things with this. Um, poetic Expressions. I had to buy these, and I'm going to use them tonight, I think. Love, love, love these dies. The dies have got these gorgeous shapes. Let me show you. I think these are just beautiful. So these shapes are all like nested, 
label shapes. Okay, absolutely fantastic. And these ones also, but look at the how look how pretty these are. And the thing about a lot of these stitched edge shapes that you might not know, and we talked about this the other day when I was um, when I was creating these cards, I created, I used this big one, okay, to create this um, this label hole in the middle of my card, and then use the hello in there. But then the bit that I cut out, I used that on a card as well. And so that was the one that I added. So I used this bit after I cut it out of this one. So just bear that in mind. Whenever you um, whenever you use a piece, um, just think if you're cutting it out, you might be able to use it on another card. Don't throw it away. But that's the biggest of those labels. And then these ones are absolutely beautiful. This, the tip that I gave the other day is there are two rows. Can you see the two rows of stitching? So the centre line there is the cut line and the stitching below above and below actually means that you get the stitching on your your positive um, piece as well as your negative piece so this would be the positive piece the piece that I've cut out here and this piece that's left behind is the negative piece and you see I get stitching on that edge and I get stitching on this edge so you get stitching on both sides and that's the whole point of having two rows of stitching so you can use it on both pieces and I think that's a good tip. Remember that, that you can use it on both. But I love those. They're one of my favourite things. Aren't they great, Leslie? I love them too. Yeah, they're fantastic. Oh, you got them too, Suzanne? Fantastic. Ah, there you go. Yeah, mobile phones started coming in mid-90s. I had one that was like a brick that my, my employer gave me to answer the phone calls when they came through at night time. All right, I love these. Don't have them yet, but um, people keep asking me, am I going to get them? Because I guess they kind of look like something I would I would use. This we have, and I might use this tonight, I think. So this is called Stippled Roses, one of my favourite new sets. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, this one here shows you on the corner here, I'd like to use this tonight as well. Can you see this beautiful embossing folder? It's a little bit tricky to see. They've used it here on Orchid Oasis paper. I did it today. I used it and just did a couple of pieces. Look how nice it is. That's just on white. Isn't that gorgeous? It's stunning, this embossing folder, and it makes a beautiful, beautiful background. So we might come back to that in a little bit, I think. All right. Um, and then that's it. We're at the back where all the bundles are, and, and the bundles are listed together so you can see what goes for, with what and what is in the bundle and how much it is. And quite a lot of the bundles, for your information, come in right around that $90, $92 mark, okay, which is perfect because if they um, if they are that price, that means you're going to get a free celebration item when you order those because it's over $90. So um, there are a couple that are not. So, for example, the punch bundles are not $90 because punches are cheaper than the dies. So a die bundle is around the $90 mark, but the punch bundles are usually around the 70 um, to mid-70 mark. So the B one is $68.25. Um, the cow one is $72.75. And that's because there are a lot more stamps in that set than there are in the B set. Okay, so um, if you're wondering why that is. But you can see some of these. This one down here is only $66.50, the Heartfelt Hexagon. And I have this one. We actually got that one early when we went to one stage. I think that's as good as I want to go through with your mini catalogue. I hope I haven't bored anybody. <laughs> Does anyone have a favourite thing that they love in here? Hello, Dolores. Nice to see you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to move these out of the way and I think we will um, come in and use a couple of celebration items as I mentioned earlier. So let me grab my celebration catalogue. You might notice I've got a bit of glare here. This glare is from my light that is over. I can move it out of the way, but then everything gets dark. So I'm leaving it on there and I've been putting my items here so um, there's less glare because on the glass mat it does have a little bit of glare doesn't bother me at all but if it bothers anybody else that's the reason why someone had a really good idea today and I should try it um, let me just I thought what a clever idea um, that if you put a piece of vellum over the glary bit oh look at that no glare at all so the vellum completely takes takes care of the glare how about that <laughs> 
Um, for anyone who's wondering about the glass mat, the glass mat is the joining special that's in the promotion right now for joining Stampin' Up. So if you love a glass mat, this one um, here that we have in Australia has metric down the left-hand side and across the bottom. And then we have inches at the top and down the right-hand side, okay? You can do a lot of things with your glass mat. Um, for example, you can... Oh, I should have... I should have um, brought my brought my cleaning mat in, but those doesn't matter. I'm not going to need it much tonight. But uh, if I want to, I can write on here and use my glass. Even though this is blends and blends are an alcohol marker and normally they will um, be permanent on whatever you do, you can just wipe them straight off the glass mat. Okay, with your um, with your glass mat cleaner, which is really really cool. I don't know where I put my glass mat cleaner. Never mind. It's like a it's like a chamois kind of. Kind of like that. You love the perennial lavender double bundle? I know, me too. I think they're absolutely beautiful. And Lynn's saying the lavender bundle as well. Oh, Glenda, lavender bundle. I think that's going to be the big one, the big winner. Everybody loves that one. I will do that. Um, if not Sunday night, I will do it again. I will do that one again next weekend because I really, really love it. I just think it's such a beautiful suite. All right. So in here, we've got a whole bunch of things. I'll show you a couple. Um, the watercolour melon, I did do a card with that a few weeks ago. Some of you may have seen me do that one. And the colours, if you're wondering, I think these colours are really, really good. This is um, Garden Green and Sweet Sorbet, which kind of, to me, look like the perfect watermelon colours. Um, I did see somebody else use Granny Apple Green. I think that was Denise. Was, was it Denise? I think was showing us Granny Apple Green with the Sweet Sorbet, and that looks really good as well. But what I really like is the Garden Green. I think this one looks good. It's Garden Green stamped off. So that was full strength, and this is a second stamping without re-inking, and that to me was like the perfect colour. looked really, really good. So that's uh, the Watercolour Melon set. Really cute. This is the one I was mentioning that matches those, um, was, it, was it not Big Skies? What skies was it? Something Skies. Now I can't remember. Bright skies, bright skies. That's what it is. And actually, it does tell us in here. Um, it tells us what things um, match with somewhere. I think it does. Also on this page is the um, the pool party ribbon, which I think is one of the most beautiful ribbons that we've had in a long, long time. And that's the one I was showing you before. This crinkly, crinkly ribbon here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Um, then there's the cradled and love set, free with a ninety dollar order. As is the ribbon um the softly stippled paper <coughs> excuse me which i may use tonight we'll come back to that i'm thinking i will use it with my um my stippled roses set they've got this beautiful foil gold and white and then it's also got red and pink uh real red and flirty flamingo in there as well and it's really really pretty this is this is meant to match the adorned is it adorned most adored so it coordinates with the adoring hearts bundle that's where it tells you. And this one tells me it, it coordinates with the Stippled Roses bundle. This one doesn't have anything that it particularly matches. This flight and airy paper, I'm going to come back to it and we're going to use it tonight because it is so beautiful. But it doesn't actually match anything else. But that's okay. We can still use it and it's still gorgeous. All right. There's our tools that match the trusty tools set. Love this. I think it's going to be so good for the guys. And then we've also got the Heartfelt Hellos stamp set that matches the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. Okay, so these, uh, this goes with something that's in the mini. These go with something that's in the mini. They go with the bundle. Then we've got the Jungle Pals and the matching dies that match each other. They don't coordinate with anything in the mini. And Softly Sophisticated, which is the stamp set and the embossing folder together. These are lovely shows you some nice ideas of things you can do with blending brushes and that and that embossing folder and then the last thing in here is the detailed dogwood okay i don't have that one yet but over here it shows you the glass mat okay so here's what you get if you join this month or in february for 169 dollars, you will receive 235 dollars worth of products of your choice plus you can if you wish choose to receive the glass mat cleaning cloth and um the silicon mat okay those three items are called the glass mat studio and they come together okay super super good i love mine um still still working on showing it to you really properly but i do love it okay um 
if you don't want the glass mat, maybe you already have one, or maybe you um, maybe you're not a glass mat fan for whatever reason. Then my thinking is you might be better in that case taking the second option, which is you spend the hundred and sixty nine again, same amount. You get two hundred and thirty five dollars worth of product of your choice, plus an extra fifty one dollars worth of product. So altogether, that's worth two hundred and eighty six dollars. That you would get for only 169 so either way whichever way you go whether you get this glass mat option or the other one it's a fantastic deal and it is the best value that you can possibly get i wouldn't do i would not be doing my job if i didn't tell you about the amazing value that this is and that's how i can help you guys get better value um i think that um, this is one of the nicest joining specials we've had for a little while okay Oh, Shelly, you were saying goodbye, were you? I'm so sorry. Did I miss that? Ah, good luck, Shelly. I hope that goes well. I hope it does. All right. Okay, so um, these are the options available right now for joining. If you happen to be placing instead just a really big order and your order is $500 or more here in Australia, you will also get another $50 of host benefits on top of your existing host benefits. So that's actually pretty cool because you'll get a lot more. But that is all the choices we have available for you. So we have items when you shop every $90 and then we have um, extra host benefits if you go over $500. And we also have the joining special. They're the three things that are available for you at the moment. Okay, so let's pull in a couple of things. I'm going to show you this flight and airy paper. And I'm sorry I've talked so much tonight. I promise I won't talk this much again next time. <laughs> um, this is the flight and airy paper. And it is absolutely beautiful. I have made a couple of cards with it. One I can't show you because it's going to be for a special project later in the month. But they, these papers are just stunning. They're like a watercolour kind of a um, design. And you've got your little watercolour birds with the little watercolour flowers. And on the back, you've got like a watercolour wash. Isn't that beautiful? I love, 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 love this. This one, you can see I've cut myself out a few birdies out of the back the little watercolour birdies. But on this side, we've got like uh, a bubble bath background and just beautiful flower design, which I think is stunning. This one, really, really pretty. This has your little birdies, once again, little watercolour birdies. And on that, we have pecan pie and kind of like a, a tiled pattern, which is really nice as well. And the pecan pie matches in. Can you see it there? matches in with the branches of the tree. So that looks really nice as well. This one, really, really cute. I've seen a lot of people cut these out, so I think they look terrific. Any of the birds look great cut out. I did do some cutting out on one of my cards. And this is like Lost, Lost Lagoon on this side. Just some branches as a background. And what else have we got? This is that one I showed you before. This is a different one. This one's got your little watercolour birds, different coloured flowers. And it's just beautiful paper. How lovely. This one has a, a pale blue. I think this is, is it, mm, is this boho blue? Let's have a look and let's see. In the On the back paper on the back, it tells me all the colours that are here. So it says boho blue. And I know this this darker blue here is bo boho blue. Um, boho blue bubble bath, calypso coral, crumb cake, daffodil delight, flirty flamingo, fresh freesia, garden green, lost lagoon, misty moonlight, pecan pie, and soft sea foam. So I think this is boho blue watered down. That's what I think it is. Um, it's not the same colour as boho blue. That's quite a bit darker, but it, it's been watered down. So that's where I think that is. So we've looked at that one. This is another one. Isn't this paper? Okay, it looks like my phone just died, which shouldn't have happened because I had made sure before I started that I had plenty of power, but it uh, doesn't, videos are very taxing on my phone, so I am going to have to recharge that. That's okay. Let's see what we can do. Can you guys hear me okay? 
my phone died. So now you've just got me. You haven't got you haven't got my phone. So I'm just um, going to pop it. I've plugged it back in, and it should recharge. It won't take very long. In fact, it's back already. So it shouldn't take very long for this to kick back in. And then I just have to turn the phone, the sound off my computer. So you may hear some echo as I do this. This is me having a technical moment. <sighs> so let's come back in. Sorry about this, guys. At least I'm getting better at fixing it when things go wrong. And you get to see this is real life, right? This is this is what happens in the real world. Um, sometimes people say, "Oh, you know, I wish, I wish um, I could be, you know, good at technology like you." Believe me, I am not good at technology. I just have lots of practice doing this. And I, when I first started doing live videos, it took me forever to get the hang of it. And I messed it up a lot. So I don't know whether this is, I'm hoping that this is going to hold on. Like I said, I've got my charger on and let's hoping, I'm hoping it's going to cut, cut in. So in a second, we may get echo. Give me a second. All right, as soon as I join in with the, with the, um, because I have to actually, I actually have to um, request to join. So let me get out of here. And then the camera needs to be turned around. There's a lot that goes on to get set up for this, isn't there? I'm so sorry, guys. All right. It's going to go quiet for a second. Okay, have you got me now? Does anyone know the size of the largest circle in the everyday details dies? That's a really good question, Michelle. I'm wondering if it says in the catalog it might. Sometimes it does. I love those dies. Let's have a look here. And right now I know we have two screens. Let me switch over. Okay. Um, it does say the largest die, okay? So the largest die in the Everyday Details die is 6.7 by 10.5 centimetres. Do you have a catalogue? Oh, okay. So that's only the rectangle, which is the lastest one, but you're wondering how big the circle is. Well, if I look at the picture, the circle looks like it's about the same width across as that rectangle, don't you think? Can you see that? So to me, I would say that whatever the width, so 6.7 looks like it's really similar to the circle across. That's what I would think. So 6.7. So nearly, nearly 7 centimetres. That's what I think. Thank you for asking and giving every, everybody something to think about as I, uh, as I got myself sorted out. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I was trying to show you guys. This is the, the one. I don't know if you got to see this. And then the last one we've already seen. So I'm thinking, will we go, do you know what? Tonight I'm thinking maybe going pink. I don't go pink very often. I nearly always go blue. So tonight maybe I'll go pink. What do you think? Would that be okay with everyone? So I wanted to use either this one or this one because I love both of these. I think they're both really, really pretty. It does tell us the largest die, but what Michelle was wondering was the size of the large, of the circle. Um, but the circle looks like it's a really similar size to to the um, to the rectangle. All right, I'm going to pop this here, and I'm going to bring in my cut and emboss machine. And we'll see if I need to scroll out. I might need to. 
you. We'll see. I've been re using my big one mostly recently, and I should probably need to go back to using the um, um, the mini because the mini is better to put on the desk, and you can see better what's going on. All right, so that's how I want to position this, and I'm going to pop this through. I just think this paper is stunning. Okay, so this is the shape that I've ended up with, and now you guys can help me make a decision. Do we want to go? So what I'm thinking, I've got these two pieces that I embossed earlier, okay? I've got a landscape one. Well, it doesn't really matter, but this one I think is more landscape the way it is. And this one was, I don't think it really matters which way it goes, but we could go landscape or we could go portrait. So if we're going landscape, it's going to go across this way like this. If we go portrait, it's going to go across this way like this. Which way, do you, which one do you think looks better? Or should we do one of each? <laughs> we could. We could do that. In fact, we could do a pink one and we could do a blue one if we wanted to. Any thoughts, guys? Portrait, portrait. Okay, portrait it is. Oh, Katrina, I'm sorry. We've already had two votes for portrait, so that's the way we're going to go. Sorry about that. And I'm thinking I will just really, really quickly cut this as well. And I'm not even going to bring the machine in. I'm just going to do it right next to the desk here. So I don't know. Is this what we call a disaster when, when – uh, things don't quite go to plan and everything kind of falls apart so I was thinking this one maybe we do one how about let's do one of each let's do one portrait and one landscape the only thing is I did notice this one is a little bigger and I'm actually going to cut it down um, so this one is 10 I'm going to take half a centimeter off and make it 13.8 by 9.5 just to make it that little bit smaller and yes, you can emboss first and then cut, as you can see. So I'm going to – I love these. Love, love, love these, this embossing folder. It's the first time I've really used it today. I just think it's stunning. And I might just do slightly different things on each – on each piece so just to show you a couple of different ideas of what you could do I think that this embossing folder goes nicely with this particular set and I hope you think that too all right and this one's going to go this way so let's pop these also on dimensionals I mean it seems a shame to cover that up too doesn't it isn't it beautiful <laughs> I've actually got a couple of packs of this paper already and I, I knew that I would want to use both sides all the time so it made sense to get two packs. All right, let's pop that there. I need to move ever so slightly. All right, so this one being um, bubble bath in the background, I'm going to grab myself some bubble bath cardstock and I've got a piece here. Actually, is it bubble bath or is that – oh, it, because it's not quite the same colour, is it? I mean, it will match, but I'm wondering, do you think it's closer to petal pink? I don't know. What was that? didn't have petal pink on the back though, did it? I don't think so. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to stick with that and we're going to say it's close enough. Cut this down to 10 by 14.3, which is already correct. And for this one, the other one, the blue one, do we want to go with the blue? Like, do we want to go with boho blue? 
or do we want to go with one of the other colours? If we go with boho blue, let's see what that looks like. It would look like this. It is quite nice, actually. That's rather nice, don't you think? So, yeah, I think I will go with that. So I'm going to make this the same size, 10. Turn it over. 10 by 14.3 again. And this is going to go on here like so. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put these straight on. Um, you can use whatever kind of glue you like, but for an embossed air, an embossed design like this, I like Tombow because it goes into all the grooves. So I feel that that's a good choice, but you can use whatever glue you like. Let's get that in here. Um, for anyone who lives local to me, I do have a catalogue launch happening on Wednesday the 10th. Sorry, Wednesday the 17th. I need to make sure I say it right. Wednesday the 17th of this month. Um, and that is going to be um, at 2 p.m. for anyone who can make it that day. I do have two spots left right now. I don't do a lot of um, in-person events anymore. Um, I used to build my whole business on them at one point, but um, these days now I um, do most of my stuff online and so most of my customers go online and place their orders online. Um, now, here's something I love about the glass mat, um, although it, I love it more when my... Oh, here it is. Found it. And it's not even completely dried. You can just wipe your adhesive straight off. So it's really easy to clean up, and I love that. And this is what we did with blends earlier. And you can see that that comes off as well. Makes a funny noise, but that also will come off. So I could go through and completely clean this off, get all the adhesive, get everything. So very, very easy to clean, which is probably one of the best things about it, really. Don't you think? <laughs> all right, so we've got one portrait and we've got one landscape, and I think that one's going to go like that. All right, so now what shall we do? I think let's have a little look at, there's a couple of different things we could do. Um, for one, I'm thinking maybe we could use one of these pieces because they're really, really pretty. And I'm wondering how big that should be. Possibly this shape. Or I could go one bigger or probably not smaller. So, and I'm thinking probably because I don't want to lose too much of this beautiful paper underneath. Actually, I want to go this way. So, I did actually look and see whether any of these little birdies would look really, really cool with this. And a few of them would, but I think probably these, this pink and blue one looks really really nice so he might be a good one to have on there i do like the ones that have like that are sitting or standing and have their little legs their little legs um popping out at the bottom you could if you wanted to you could cut this would be fussy cutting but you could cut out you know with a branch and so forth but that's a lot of work and i'm not going to do that tonight <laughs> no no thank you I'm going to have it another time. But I'm thinking maybe a vellum piece like so. A little late tonight. Me a little late or you a little late, Denise? Because I am a little, I was a little late getting started because I've talked too much about the new catalogue. <laughs> so, so there we go. All right, so I'm thinking maybe this one here. And then another option would be putting a greeting on maybe one of these and having it going across and then having a bird on one end of the greeting. That would be also really nice. So you can mix and match these dies. You don't have to have um, you don't have to have them exclusive. You can actually use them together and I think they look really nice together. All right, I'm going to cut myself a vellum piece. Okay, 
away. And I do want to have some sort of pink birdie. So I'm looking through my birds to see which birdies I would want to use. And I'm deciding because there's a few different options. I kind of like this little guy here. I'm thinking he might be fun. And I like the colour, the pink and the, and this one is cute too. So we've got a couple here that are really, really sweet. All right, let's cut one out. Let's go fussy cutting. I'm just going to go this one because he's near the edge and that'll make him easy to cut out. So I am going to fussy cut this. I, when I fussy cut, mostly turn my paper rather than moving my scissors and it helps you get a much better line when you cut. I think I've done better tonight at staying in the frame. How do, do you think I've done better tonight? I think I have. I'm trying to get better at that because I had a few people complain, especially the I did um, the lavender set a few weeks ago and uh, I was very bad at staying in the frame and people were complaining that I was out of frame. But um, it's like, I'm sorry. Oops. Okay, let's let's get this guy cut out. He's very, very cute. Now that I've got him on there, I think I'm not seeing the vellum very much. I'm going to pop the vellum to one side. I'm not sure about that at all i have got a piece that i cut out yesterday that had had the birdie so that's a possibility we could we could do this and it's the the birdie's got purple and this one probably would have been better with the pink but i like the fact that he's got legs i like that <laughs> so let me find a greeting that i would like to use with this something small with the stippled roses set let's go sending thanks I'm going to do like a small a small greeting and I'm thinking what color will I do this what color will I do my words should I go boho blue I think so I think boho blue will work so we're just going to ink this up. Check always before you stamp that you haven't got ink sitting on the edge of your stamp because that can mess the whole thing up. Oh, I need to get over this stamp, so give me a second. I have to pull it out of the way like this. And then I'm going to pop my little birdie on a dimensional or two. One and two, one, two. And we're going to have him right there. I'm going to use, because you can never have enough more dimensionals, one and two. Like so. And I have some very nice, this is from the annual catalogue, but I really like it. This is the bubble bath ribbon with a silver edge. There's also blue and also green in here. Oh, sorry, not green, yellow, lemon lolly. But I thought the pink probably would look the best. Let's pop this, pull those loops small. You guys have all gone very quiet. I hope I haven't upset anybody. <laughs> or, or either that or you're all watching intently. Maybe that's what it is. All right. So I'm going to grab my ribbon scissors. I like my loops when I do ribbons, especially on a more of a dainty card. And I would call this, I guess, a dainty card. I like my bow to be fairly small. So I pull my loops smaller and smaller and make sure that they're sitting properly. And then let's trim off the, the tails. Oh. 
try that again. And I'm going to use a glue dot to stick that down. You're concentrating. Am I making it hard tonight to concentrate? Let's pop that right there on that glue dot and pop it right here at the bottom. All right, it's looking very pretty. It's coming together nicely. All right, now I do think it needs a little bit of bling. So what bling shall we use? I think either silver or iridescent rhinestones would work. Has anyone got any thoughts on that? This isn't the right pink, although we would get away with it. This is um, this is actually petal pink, but it would actually work. And then we have silver, silver um, little festive pearls. Those are super cute too. What do you think, guys? Oh, and the other option that would look really good. Let me find them very quickly. Would be the boho blue dots. Um, so let me just find those for a second. I keep on using up all my boho blue ones. I've got several packs of these, but the boho blue ones are the ones I use the most. So here they are. So I could add I could add some little boho blue dots if I wanted to. So we've got the boho blue dots, or we've got the um, the silver, or we've got the petal pink. What do we think? What do you think, guys? Pink bling, purple pink bling, yeah, pink, pink. Okay, so it looks like we are going with the petal pink ones. Although, to me, they're somewhere in between petal pink and bubble bath. And if they, we get away with them quite nicely. So I'm going to use my, you can use your take your pick tool or the point of your scissors, and we're going to pop a couple of those around. I'm going to have a, meet, a smaller one up here and then a little another one up towards the top and I'm going to pop that on a card base just basic white Oop. There go. basic white thick card base Use my bone folder to get a nice flat edge and let's pop that on there and once again I will use Tombow which I've just moved somewhere and oh well it's not far away because there's the lid goodness me who forgets to put the lid on their Tombow here we go found it This is such a pretty feminine stamps, uh, paper pack, don't you think? I mean, you really don't need, you just need a sentiment and the paper and it looks beautiful. It's stunning. Stunning paper and a free item. Gift with purchase when you spend $90. Isn't that cute? I think it turned out really nice. Yes, it was a cat hair. I wondered if anyone would see it. <laughs> oh, you're too clever, you girls. You catch me out all the time. Uh, Winkerstella. Here we go. I can wink a still the bird, which is what Jody has suggested. Let's make him sparkly. Now we've still got the blue one to do, but I'm going to come back to the blue one, I think, because I can see it's already 8.30 and I wanted to show you a different stamp set and a different paper. So how about I come back and we do the blue one? Or maybe I'll post the blue one over the weekend. Um, I don't think we'll have time for that one tonight, but you got the idea anyway. So same sort of thing. I was going to cut out another little birdie or some birds and add those. But I think this turned out really pretty. Don't you think? It's really nice. So let's use let's use a different set. So this is the stippled rose set. And you noticed I just used the sending thanks sentiment out of that. That's the one I've been using the most. Last week when I did my craft along, one of the projects that we did, I used um, I used this set and let me show it to you. I think this is um, from those craft along tutorials. If you want these, these are available on my blog. You can purchase them for $15 Australian and there are five 
different videos available. There's four private tutorials that you get plus a public tutorial. Um, this is the one that I use this beautiful stippled rose set though. This is a trifold card. So let me put this back for a second. And I'm thinking I will start with um, what colour will we do? Let's let's ask for a vote. What colour would you like to see me work with? We've got um, some really nice colours in this set. So let me grab them out for you. So we're going to be picking from these colours. Okay, we're going to be picking, this is Wild Wheat. And I love the way they've used Wild Wheat. It's a little bit watered down and it's really very, very pretty. And you can see this is like a Hessian design. These are leaves. Okay. And on the back we've got Pool Party. because, And that's also Pool Party. And this is like a canvas design. And I use this one in the background here and also I used this one in the background here okay so these two are using these papers really love them and then we've got wild wheat and calypso coral and pebble path in here isn't that a nice combo really really pretty and on the back of that you've got pebble path watered down looks really really good hey Susan nice to see you and then we've got this one, I really like this. Haven't used it yet, but this would be a maybe we go with this tonight, the Calypso Coral, because I think that's really beautiful. And on the back of that, we've got Pebble Path. Isn't it nice? And then there's our Wild Wheat piece again. And then Pebble Path Roses on a white background. Super nice. I used this one on the first card I made with this paper. There's your Calypso Coral on the back of that. Look, it's like a wash. You think Calypso Coral? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Let's do Calypso Coral. So the colours in here, in case we missed any, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Pebble Path, Pool Party and Wild Wheat. Okay, they're the colours in this paper. This is another free celebration paper and it matches the stippled rose bundle. The, set, the paper is called Softly Stippled. It's 12 by 12 paper. Um, the nice thing is that when you purchase the stippled roses bundle, which is the dies and the matching stamps, you would get the you could, if you wish, get the paper for free. So that would make it a very good deal. Let me just have a quick look at that for you. Uh, okay, stippled roses is on page sixty four, and the bundle is ninety four fifty. So yes, the paper is free when you order that bundle, if you would like it. Oh, and look what they've done up here with that other embossing folder that we used before. They match those two together. I don't know that I would do that, but I really do like, I really love this embossing folder. I can't wait to use it a whole lot more. I've got some ideas that might show up in Technique Tuesday videos for that. All right, now the thing I noticed about this beautiful rose, love, love, love it, but the thing I noticed is that it needs to go on a larger block. It doesn't quite fit on e almost well you can make it by turning if you turn it kind of sideways it just fits so just kind of just comes right to the edge of this okay so you can get it onto e block or of course you could use f if you have a stamparatus still um you could use your stamparatus plate as well but you wouldn't get away with anything smaller than e block okay so i'm thinking if we're going to go calypso coral Okay, two colours that look really, really good together are Calypso Coral and Petal Pink, believe it or not. So let me show you. So I've got some Calypso Coral here and I've also got some Petal Pink. And so I think these two will look really, really nice together. So I'm deciding, let's, let's cut this into the right size so this should be I may need to actually I'll probably need to bring this down so 13.8 and I'm going to make it the other way nine and a half so it's slightly smaller than a card front size and let's just see how this how this goes on. I'm going to use calypso coral on my petal pink super nice the colors just look really good together because the, the, the pink is more apricot, really, than pink. So I'm going to just stamp over the corners here. It is a rubber stamp set, so it has good detail and you don't need to worry about putting a mat or anything underneath. It's great. So 
So I'm just going to stamp the background. There's so much detail in this stamp. It's just beautiful. Really, really lovely. Look how beautiful the detail is on this. Can you see it? It is really beautiful. You can colour it if you want to, but you don't need to because the, the stamp is beautiful just as it is. Right, so I'm actually going to grab my petal pink ink. That rhymes, doesn't it? And I'm going to use a blending brush, just a small one. And we're going to use the petal pink ink and I'm going to colour these flowers up a little bit. Now, at the moment, I haven't even decided if I'm going to use this whole piece because I would like to use the paper. So we'll see. See how nice the petal pink and the Calypso coral look together? It's really pretty. Wipe the mat. Yes, I will. I absolutely will. I've got to get used to doing that much more often. <laughs> um, a small blending brush. These are they're called small blending brushes. I typed in mini today thinking they were mini blending brushes, but they're small blending brushes if you go looking for them. Um, they are good for doing small areas like this. Um, the big ones are a little bit harder to manipulate for a small area. But if you are using, if you don't have the small ones and you have to use the big ones, use the end and you will be able to manage to get it into a contained area better. All right, that's looking kind of nice, isn't it? All right, so because I can, I'm thinking about using this beautiful, this beautiful paper here. And I'm thinking about using... I'm deciding how big I want the piece to be because obviously I'm going to, I don't want to cover up everything I've just done around the outside. So maybe this is a good size. And so let's cut this down. You can see these labels are getting a lot of use. I think they're fantastic. And I, I haven't yet bought the matching stamp set. I may at some point, but I really bought it for these labels. I just thought the labels were good on their own. This is going to come in the middle here. Now I know that's a lot of that's a lot of coral. I get that. But I do like it with the pink. I think it looks really nice. And I'm going to cut this piece. This is my backing piece. So I'm watching. Actually, I'm I'm having a couple of thoughts here. It's dangerous, I know. Sometimes I start to if I start to say the sentence when my husband, you know, he thinks he's so funny. I'll say, I was thinking, he goes, uh-oh. <laughs> like, thanks, honey. <laughs> I am going to cut. So this is the right size to go on here. And this one I'm going to cut. I'm thinking I want to have another piece around this. So let's see if this is too big. I'm going to cut one more piece. So let's see, would this be, how would that look? I think that's kind of nice. I like it. Huh. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Do we like the coral piece? Here you go, Shirley. Look, look at me. Look at me go. I'm cleaning my mat, my, my glass mat. You think the man underneath? Yeah, I think so too. All right, so let's put this together. 
it's going to be very coral. That's that's all I can say, but that's okay. I haven't done a very coral thing for a while, so I think that's nice. So I feel like we're going to need a, um, a bit of contrast. And that's okay. The vellum isn't going to give us enough contrast, so I feel like we're going to need another shape. So let's whack... Um, let's whack probably, I'm thinking possibly a white circle, but we can kind of make a decision. We can make our minds up about that. Right, like so. And I'm actually thinking I might pop this down flat. A black base would have been good, actually. I did think of having that extra contrast, Jody. So, yeah, that's that would also look really good. But I'm going to stick with the coral today. All right. So let me grab my scrap bucket. Here it is. Look, it's a bit scary looking, isn't it? And let's see. See, I have... Oh, well, here's a possibility. We've got petal pink glimmer. That's petal pink glitter, glitter paper. I don't know. Would that be too? Would that be too crazy? I'm looking to see what else we've got. We could also do gold. I mean, that's another possibility. Um, but I'm. I was thinking of a white circle. So either in the center or off to one side with my greeting and then then a rose next to that. That's what I was thinking. Ooh, we also have this lovely shape. Isn't that beautiful? But I think maybe not for this one. Let me turn this around. What do we think? Very vanilla, no, 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 no. Lots of no's. <laughs> Very vanilla, yes. Vanilla might be better. I would need to cut one though because I don't think I have any vanilla here in my in my scrap box. But that's okay. So I was also thinking about um, the the. Um, oh, hang on a second. What have we got? Well, that's vanilla. That would be better, even though it's not the right shape. But you can see the colour is better. The vanilla is better than the white. Definitely. Look at that. Look at the difference. So, yeah, vanilla is the go. I agree, you guys. Good thinking. Oh, there's a small one. Jeez, this one feels like it's... Oh, look, it's two. Yeah, vanilla is definitely, definitely needs to go. Oh, and here I have a vanilla label too. That's a possibility. Now, what I was thinking was of having a um, the rose from the set, this one, the smaller one, as an accent. So let's throw that on. I'm sorry I've gone so long tonight, you guys. I had so many things I wanted to tell you, and now I'm thinking I probably should have I probably should have not been quite as long-winded at the start, but that's okay. Oh, another thing we have, and this is part of the lavender set, is we have we have these little butterflies, and I could I could um, color a butterfly. That would be another nice idea. That maybe would be a good idea. But I like the idea of this rose. Give me one second. I'm going to grab a piece of vanilla. okay so i have some vanilla here which is definitely better than the white and i'm going to do my vanilla with the rose you enjoy the evening so i'm so glad leslie thank you so much <laughs> thanks girls I'm glad to hear that because I do worry that I carry on too much sometimes. All right, so this rose is really pretty. I do like it a lot. 
and we can color that as well with the petal pink if we want to Now I'm thinking we should also color. We could also add some green to our leaves if we wanted to. That might be a that might be a nice look. Um, I'm just looking to see here which. Let me see. Okay, so something that you can do with your glass mat. Um, I'm deciding which green would look good. Old olive maybe, mossy meadow maybe. What do you guys think? I think mossy meadow because when you use mossy meadow with water, it tends to um, it tends to go lighter so i'm actually going to put a drop straight onto my glass mat i don't have to go looking for a container to put it in and i'm going to squeeze a bit of water here through my aqua painter my water painter and just water it down as much as i want and oh cat hair again goodness me i wonder how they got there some of you may have seen the pictures of um, Merlot on my desk yesterday. Oh, my goodness. Some days he just wants to be right where I am. He's a good pussycat, though. He's so, he's so affectionate. We're very lucky to have him. All right, so I'm just going to colour these. I'm wondering if they're too dark. Now, what I can do here is I can really push my water through. It's not going to make any difference now. But when I first coloured these, I probably should have put a bit more water through. But anyway, you get the idea. And there are matching dyes for these. So the matching dyes are also called stippled roses. Um, the really nice thing is that these days they have made the name of the stamp set and the name of the die set the same. So it's really easy. You haven't got to look. Before it was kind of like a mystery. You had to go looking for a set that might match another set. All right, so this is the one that is going to match my little rose like so. Right, and then I'm going to grab my um, cleaning cloth again and get rid of that. It would be helpful if I'd actually um, refreshed this and ran it under the tap before we started, but I forgot about that, so oh well. All right. Okay, I'm going to quickly cut this out. I'm not even going to bring my big shadow, oh sorry, my pattern emboss machine over. I'm just going to cut it out right here on the table. It's just a bit quicker. And I think I would like it with the, like I said, the, um, the leaves a little bit lighter. And probably I would like a second rose, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I won't make you sit through that. I will probably do a second rose at some point. I like this congratulations. And there's also a best birthday wishes that I thought would fit quite nicely on this, uh, on this little banner. So I'm going to pop that on here. This is a nice congratulations. It's like a, a very pretty scrolly, swirly kind of font. Love that. And let's come in here. Do we want to do it in coral or shall I do it in the mossy meadow? Um, maybe I'll do the mossy meadow because then it's going to draw. That means that the leaves won't be the only thing that are, that are the one color. So it's nice. If you have a color somewhere and it's the only place that color appears, it's nice to try and have it somewhere else in there as well. See what a beautiful font this is? It's gorgeous right so I'm going to put because I'm not sure how wide this is without having to measure I decide where I want this to be and I put it on here rather than behind the banner and then stick the banner to it that way you've got it in the right place 
and if I put this right here like so but like I said I'm uh, another one over here would look really pretty or a couple more would look really nice and I might put another one behind here as well Now I feel like I need some bling or something on there. What do you think? It's a bit different, isn't it? This card. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I like the first card better, but this one is turning out okay. And it does show off the beautiful roses. I do have a little bit of, oh no, that's flirty flamingo that. So it's not, although you could almost get away with it because it matches in here with the paper. What other paper would, or what other ribbon would be like? Or do you think just bling? No ribbon. Is maybe we don't need ribbon? Maybe we just need bling. Green bling. Ooh, I don't think I have any of this kind of green. Um, I don't. You know. I have, I mean, we've got iridescent rhinestones and we know those will always go. They're like your go-to set of goes with everything. I have gold in the brush metallics. But um, in also in the blooming pearls, again, I seem to be coming back to these a lot. We also have the shiny gold. So these are like a brush gold. These are a shiny gold. And I think the shiny gold would look really nice. Do we think shiny gold or do we think iridescent rhinestones or matte gold, brush gold? Because I'm leaning towards the shiny gold. That's my personal preference, I think. No one else seems to care. No one else seems to mind. I don't, I don't mean not to care. That doesn't sound right, does it? Do we think these are okay? Because they're the ones I'm leaning towards. What I meant was nobody minds. <laughs> All right, so maybe one here. And then a smaller one over here. The gold. Colour white ones with the gold. Oh, that would have been a good idea. Why didn't I think of that, Moira? Of course, I could have done that. Didn't think of it. All right, so we need a base now for this. And I'm thinking probably we'll go with the, actually, we don't want to go white. We want to go vanilla, don't we? Give me a second. I'll grab a piece of vanilla for that. Um, I've got some already cut, so that's handy. Right, let's pop this over and give it a flatten with my bone folder which I have misplaced and we did use it before so I know it's here here we go here's one All right, I'm liking this. I think that's, it's turned out, I, I like it. It's turned out really interesting, but totally different to what I thought I was going to do. Not that I really knew what I was doing, but um, it's different to, for me, this is a really different card. So. This is coming together nicely. And it looks so much better with the vanilla than it does with the white. The white was completely stark, totally wrong. So it worked out a lot better this way. I'm happy with that. So let me grab the other card. We have, well, this one that I'm going to finish in my own time and not, <laughs> not keep going right now. And these are the two that we actually completed tonight. And we use celebration paper, new stamp set, and celebration paper. And this sending thanks is from the stippled roses, the same as the congratulations. So I use the same stamp set 
isn't this a nice set? It's also got a Happy Mother's Day, which um, I like having a set that's got a Happy Mother's Day in it because Happy Mother Mother's Day is, I believe, the same time everywhere. It's May, the second Sunday in May. Um, however, um, Father's Day here in Australia is a different time to the US. So, yeah. Oh, you like those? You, you like them both? I'm so happy, Jody. That's great. Hello, Colleen. We missed you. That's okay. Hi. <laughs> the vanilla looks so much better, doesn't it, Moira? I agree. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm really hoping you like those. I know I went a little bit long tonight, but um, I wanted to say I think you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that um, and give us a thumbs up and hopefully lots of other people will find us as well, which would be awesome. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, don't forget, everything I have used tonight is available for purchase. If you're here in Australia and you aren't already working with a demonstrator, you're very welcome to go to my online store. I have the details in the description below this video. No problem, you girls. See you soon. Bye-bye.